Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me again for another episode of Build, another, Build a Better Business in Five Minutes or Less. I am Jim Coppinger with Zen Tech Consultants, and as always, I'll be your host. And before we get started, as I always do, I will start my countdown timer so that I don't run over five minutes because I do like to talk a lot. So today, what I'm going to talk about is simplifying your estimation tools. And what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, it, it, it is uh, kind of an architecture, engineering, construction-based function that I'm really talking about here, but that is you know, the, the market that Zentech works in quite a lot. Uh, but this can actually be useful for, for a whole number of other industries, from estimators to anybody who's doing any kind of facility management and so on. So it, it, it really does cover a broad base. But the one thing that I've seen time and time again is that people are spending a lot of time and a lot of money in putting together processes and paying uh, an extra exorbitant amount of money for estimating tools when at the end of the day I don't think you really need to okay so what I'm going to show you here without getting into too much detail um, in, into how to use the program today what I did want to talk to you guys about is a product that I use here at Zentech and we do a lot uh, with our customers we train on it we sell it we deploy it it's called uh, Bluebeam Review and what it really lets you do is use standard PDFs, which are standard industry files. We all use them on a daily basis. They cost almost nothing. Just about anybody on the planet is, is happy to give you their design documentation in PDF format. They can just email it over to you. You can go to work. But with Bluebeam, what I can do very, very quickly and in a repetitive fashion to save yourself a lot of time and money is put together some very fast, very simple to use Estimates. I'm going to show you just a real quick example of what I mean. So one of the great things about working with Bluebeam is that I can kind of pre-save and pre-store reusable tool sets for different types of estimating. So for example here, I'm just going to show you real quickly uh, two flooring types. All right, so right here when I hover over this, you can see that I've got my, uh, my flooring type here for the first set, which is my wood flooring. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just real quickly say, okay, you know what? I'm going to put wood flooring uh, right here in these two little rooms. You see they're odd shaped and they're real easy for me however to just go ahead and click in. You see it actually throws in and calculates the square footage, labels it, does it so I can see the display that that's the area that I've completed. And I can go in, I can do the exact same thing if I'm putting wood laminate in the room on the opposite side of the hole here. I can get the exact same kind of feature set up. And there you go. So you can see I got 462 versus 461. There is a slight size difference between the two rooms. But you'll notice that down here on the bottom, it's actually going through and it's adding up the flooring. It's giving me all the length, the perimeter, the wall areas. So I can actually do drywall calculations and trim calculations. And I can actually come in here and it's doing volume based on uh, some, some preset height uh, factors that I have set in there. But what I can do with each of these is I can actually come in and I can change these Right, to have a specific um, type, and that type can have material cost. And then next to that, I can put in columns for you know labor and installation and shipping, and I can handle all my estimating very, very quickly, very, very simply. Right? And I can do the same thing uh, with really odd-shaped kind of areas. Right? And that's the other thing that I like is I can come to my dynamic fill here, which allows me to just kind of go in and, and define some areas um, there on a work. So I'm going to say, okay, you know what, I want to kind of end this odd area here and I'm going to end my uh, kind of layout here and I'll pull it down just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better going from here to here right? and then I'm able to just go in and kind of do what, what we call a, um, a flood fill so you see here now I can just kind of spill in here and it will actually fill out and calculate that area for me and you see how it made its way around and I go up you know what I do however want to be inside the doors it's going to go under the door swing so I can just go back in and fill those in. And then once I'm done, I can just come right up here and do the same exact thing and say, hey, you know what? But for this one, I'm actually going to use carpet, all right? Carpet type one. And I can pick that and then just say apply, right? And close. And you can see now it's giving me all my carpet. It's all under my flooring. It's breaking it out. Carpet, flooring, cost. I can do the same thing, all right? Add a, a cost and a pricing for that. So that's the kind of thing you do very, very quickly and easily with a product like Bluebeam that saves you a ton of time and effort in estimating. And these are reusable and transferable across uh, multiple systems. So you can set up kind of a default table of what you guys use in your office and share it with everybody throughout your entire company. So that's the kind of thing you need to be looking at to build a better business. And it seems like I'm just about out of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause my timer right there. And I'm gonna jump back over to our, uh, as always, our little um, 
PDF here, excuse me, our, our PowerPoint here, remind you guys that uh, Zentech Consultants, we're here to help you guys with uh, any level of business control, whether it's with Bluebeam and price estimating, anything with the AAC industry, and we're also a uh, Microsoft Certified Cloud Solutions provider, so we're here for all your business needs. So thank you guys again, and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks.